Hello, and welcome to the ninth devlog video for Kijim and Windborn Kin. I have a bigger update here. Well, it's a content update. And I'll go ahead and show you the new features that have been added, mainly the faction reputation system. So let's go ahead and load up a game here. I think I'm going to load up the tried and true save slot zero. And we're in the game now. And I'm about to start an event here. I saved it at this point on purpose. But um, you'll see that if I uh, open the faction reputation menu, which is new, it shows the reputation for all of the game's 30 factions. So there's a lot of information here um, about the, the faction uh, its flag, your status in that faction, indicated by this rainbow flashing arrow, along a bar that increases in rank uh, and decreases in this direction. So there are 10 levels in each side, so it goes from ally to acquaintance to friend, and then further on that way, and it goes to rival and then enemy eventually. So, yep, there's the list of 30 factions. I go here, I can click on this. It gives you a description of Argentus, Argonon, Chroma, and does does that for all of these. So if you just click on them, it'll give you a description of the faction and what they're about, what they do. And we have 20 nations and 10 um, organizations. So the Argentian Colleges, the Kaijimen, Fauna, Kijimen, the Argent Sky, Orisia, which are the Orcs, the Cobalt Tribes, which are Cobalts, the Pirates, Church of Dana, Dana the Umbral Cult, and then the 20 Nations further up. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. This is displaying improperly. I'll fix that later. So here we have an event. So these random events now have faction supported dialogue. So I added 70 of these events. There are so many of them. I wrote a quarter of a novel over the last couple of weeks uh, for content for this game. So. There's now a lot of text content, a lot of world building dialogue. So a random, random conversation has begun. And there's the title for the event here. I'm using this as like a monomic device in order to um, remember what events I'm working on. But uh, a strong male looking for passenger ship tries to strike up a conversation with you. A couple grads ago, I was in King's Gold for some cosmetic improvements to my taxi ship. They told me about how about how they imported some uh, Luminian leather they could use for upholstery. I asked the installer if that meant it was quality leather. He said, yes, the absolute best. Today I found that sitting on it for about six weeks has caused it to wear down. I'll never buy a Luminian product again. And so you have two options here, support Lumine. Every product has occasional defects can't blame an entire country for a company's quality control mistake or oppose Lumine. Every product I've ever bought bought that says it was made made in Lumine barely lasts me a grad. You're lucky you got six weeks out of it. So a couple things that you'll note is that this dialogue has um, in-universe nomenclature. So uh, a grad is like a month uh, since Una has no moons. Um, uh, the, the term gradient is used in place of a of a moon um, of a lunar cycle or a month long cycle, and a gradient uh, occurs as the source changes the light color it emits over the period of uh, period of that month. So a grad is twenty four days on the Sorcellian calendar. So um, I don't tell the player any of this. <laughs> I just let them learn it for themselves. We'll see how that goes, but. Um, 
And then, of course, you can ignore the dialogue. But like, there's nobody who hates politics more than me. But um, if you support Lumine, not that you uh, would have remembered what uh, happened in the uh, faction reputation menu, but if I click that, if I go down to Lumine, it will have. Uh, if I supported Lumine, you can now now see I'm further into the ally uh, bracket on Lumine, and actually a lot of factions have changed their reputation status. <laughs> So, um, Argentus likes you a little more if you, if you trust Lumine. Um, uh, let's see here. Prisma, Redef, Skyline may have been modified as well. There is a huge, uh, list of changes. Uh, it affects all the factions, not just the one that you select. So, I'm going to keep that in mind. But we'll see a, a couple more of these as I go across. Um... 70, 70 events was, uh, uh, I, I wanted to do a hundred before this update, but, uh, 70 is like already getting close to, uh, 10,000 to 12,000 words. So, uh, there's a lot of, um, a lot of tech content that I had to work, work with. Um, a lively woman intoxicated by Azora, uh, Azora introduces a topic to you. How does De Nova get so much money out of tourism? They reported a billion Jimin in tourism revenue uh, from last year alone. That's not even on top of what people are paying in tax. You can support with the conflict going on. Uh, they're, uh, uh, they're the only reliable route to the thread. They, sh uh, they should be capitalizing on it. It's a, sh uh, a pose. Uh, it's a shame they're taking advantage of refugees like that. It's certainly undanist of them. And uh, Danism is a religion, so... If uh, we start talking politics, we'll never get onto the fun stuff. Is the the deny option? So um, I'm going to cover a few more of these events, and then we will get on to uh, what what the future holds for this game. Um, oh look, uh, another uh, one of the normal events. So roll. Go ahead and try to get some scrap out of it. Boom, critical success. It's just that easy, guys. Claim reward. <laughs> I've uh I've been enjoying working on this immensely. Uh support the Argentine colleges. Sometimes the research involves the oh yeah, sorry. Already reading the <laughs> the blue text. Um, an older female looking for passenger ship tries to strike a, up a conversation with you. Uh, the, these, uh, this line, this first one is uh, procedural. I, I, I don't have a lot of procedural options in there. I put like three options in there. So I'll write more later. This is just to make sure that it works. Those Argentian college arrows are a complete nuisance. I couldn't tell you what school they were from specifically, but they were carrying so many animal carcasses around. When I caught an eye on them, they were hauling up yet another. So many different kinds of animals and skyfish. I thought they were supposed to be doing research, not killing groves full of wildlife. Uh, support the Argentine colleges. Sometimes the research involves the dissection of plants and animals. And animals. I need to... Uh, I didn't do any, uh, like, checking for spelling. <laughs> anywhere through this at all so this is just <laughs> right off the press without any editing uh, you can't learn about their anatomy without taking them apart oppose the argentian colleges there's no reason reason to be killing all those creatures i'm sure with the resource the resources the college have at the disposal they can hunt down already dc specimens Sorry, but my parents taught me to never talk to strangers. So, I oppose the colleges, because who, who wants to support Argentus, am I right? Can you believe those, those people? We hate the Argentians, guys. And now, <laughs> Severed Leaves. An old woman gives a hand gesture signaling to you that they want to talk about something. I saw that the uh, Glass Cut Gazette's co coverage, coverage of the war. I saw Lee Falson on their list of Federation belligerents. Honestly, what oh, what kind of reporting are they doing? Their research department must have uh, must be ashed out of their mo mind if they think Lee Falson has hired a single uh, fired a single shot in any battle. 
Our country is made up of a bunch of cowards in wax and polished ships. I don't think any other citizen of Lee Falson would call themselves part of the Federation. I certainly don't. Support Argentus. I would consider any nation a member of the Federation if they are aiding Argentus. Even if you leaves aren't fighting, <laughs> you're enabling the pe uh, people doing the fighting. And then support Lee Falson. One day the coalition is going to get tired of the Lee Falson aid. When that happens, the war will swing in favor of the feds. Uh, we're sky sailors, not political pundits, is the deny option. So we can go ahead and deny. So, yeah, um, it's nice to be able to uh, test the game out and not see the same thing twice anymore. Um, oh, yeah, uh, noteworthy events. Here we go. Try to loot the buoy. See if we can get a buoy out of this. So we can fail, actually. So I can show you the failure event. Um, yep. Okay. But it's nice to not be able to see the same uh, event twice during testing. There is a lot of uh, content in here now. So this last last one I'm going to read, and I'm going to discuss uh, future updates. Uh, a sprite man intoxicated by Azora introduces a talker to you. You get that in uh, intoxicated by Azora line again. Uh, do you see what happened outside earlier this morning? An Argent uh, Sky ship of the line unloaded about 10 full volleys of cannon fire into two massive pirate ships trying to pour, uh, pour it up around. Um, uh, to pour it up around, I think that's supposed to be the city or something. This is an incorrect language, but uh, we'll get to that later. The authority reported that the ships planned to raise, uh, to raise the city. Uh, they would have taken so much from us, and a few good men stopped all of it. We're lucky to have them around. Support the Argent Sky. Wow, I would have loved to see those bastards get what they deserve. I, I wonder what the Port Authority is going to do with all the surviving pirates. Oppose the Argent Sky. What the Port uh, Authority doesn't tell you is that those massive ships crash into the ground below, destroying buildings and hurting people, not to mention all the cannon balls that miss. Careless. I prefer the company of the clouds to the common folk. Uh, so you can just shoot them away. Support the Argent Sky. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of text content in the game now. And there's going to be much more because I only finished seven of the 400 planned events. So at least uh, 400 planned um, random discussion political events. I have a total of 3,000 total planned events. Something like that. And uh, we'll see how long that takes to get in the game. It'll probably be uh, in, uh, in early access before I start making weekly updates with content. But the next part of the game I'm working on is actually going to be the story and mainline questing system. So we're going to actually see what the, the game itself will play like uh, when it comes to the story, story content and the the management system for feeding the crewmen and all that stuff. Um, this is supposed to be a, uh, it's not really a survival game. It's more like a, um, uh, a light management game where you're trying to keep the crew alive during all this period of time. Um, and I, I don't even think that's, uh, uh, that's accurate, uh, because really, as long as you keep close to the, to the cities, you should be able to keep them fed pretty easily. It's more like a, um, a preventative measure to keep people from flying out into no, in the middle of nowhere unprepared. So it's more of a uh, maintain your ship's crew status quo. And then if you're going to do something a little crazier, like risk the lives of your crew, um, you need to plan accordingly for that. So there's going to be a lot of... Um, uh, necessary knowing where you are in the map um where the where the local hazards are where the pirates are located everything's gonna be attacking the player pretty much all the time so um the the player will be incentivized to stay near cities um but there will be rewards that uh entice the player to go out and uh seek those rewards uh through high risk high reward Gameplay. Got another event here. Your distant hollow 
Alpha, Holograph Alpha. A sprite female looking for passengership, yep. I have to say that I am absolutely nettled. I went through the laborious process of corresponding with the iridescent commission of weights and standards to obtain a well-calibrated bratometer for the purpose of navigating uh, uh, source ways crosswinds of the knife of canard for research purposes of course come to my surprise that the brightometer i ordered doesn't rotate at all even at full bright <laughs> doesn't tell you what a brightometer is doesn't tell you what the crossways source winds are the opposed idea i have no idea what about anything you just said or you can support your desk by saying clearly you should test the lens all with an art artificial light source to see if the plates have a higher release friction than what you ordered, or if the assembly is damaged. So, nice little scientific gobbledygook there to show that you're a smart character, right? We all like those kind of roleplay features, and I have no interest in your affairs. I don't care about what this person's telling me. Um, the storyline content for the game, uh, I hope, at least, will have... Uh, not only branching dialogue paths, but uh, many concurrent um, branching options without um, like funnels or bottlenecks. I, I, I don't plan for um, that Fallout 4 style bottlenecking where you branch out into dialogues and you eventually meet at one story point. And you branch on a bunch of dialogues and meet at one story point. The, the, the goal here is to have the player um, do what they want for the most part and then return to a bottleneck. But the bottleneck will be more like a, a hydra of bot bottlenecking link paths. So there will be a central recollection point for the story, but they'll be um, based on the player's previous actions if they're an enemy of argentis or an ally or of uh, geminia or an ally of only the pirates and an enemy to everyone else or whatever so that that'll be that'll be interesting to write that's going to be coming up probably within the next two to four weeks i should have a significant portion of portion portion <laughs> i should have a sh significant portion of the story done and then we should be able to go on into uh quite a lot of um the store the the dialogue building part where i go um this is a this is the character these are the options you can say to that character this is how it affects the story you fly to this location activate a waypoint marker go on a story quest um do the do the score quest that would ha that would have you fight a battle without actually fighting the battle because i haven't built the combat system yet all that stuff's going to be in the game. It should be by November. Um, so we will see. Um, yeah. I'm going to show you one last event here, and then I will close it, and then we will... Uh, not that one. One last event, and then we'll close it. And then um, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. See here. A uh, middle-aged female intoxicated by Azora. I need to add more of these. <laughs> um, but they're already starting to irritate me. Uh, my solution to uh, fixing procedural generation problems is to just add so many options. You'll you'll see that this has quite a few. That there's like um, I already have I already have I think 50 in here that are pretty different. But I hope to have several thousand of these so that the player never sees them twice. But um, Oh, it's just so pretty. This painting of the sail of Arachne makes me want to pass by and see it. I wonder how many colorful bits of cloth have been tied to it over the years. It doesn't tell you what the sail of Arachne is. You can, if you want to know, you can go to the wiki. It tells you. Anyway, support Opalran. It's too bad that they have to remove pieces of it at every festival. Wish it could go on forever. Oppose Opalran. Isn't it a piece of? Uh, it isn't a piece of art. It's a hazard. I don't consider cloth to be a load-supporting material. The thing probably weighs a couple of lodestones. I also don't tell you what a lodestone is. Um, you'll get it through context as you played the game. A lodestone is about a ton. Um, and some of the dialogue will, will actually references it in that context. So there's some contextual information if you read. But if you don't know, you don't know. Part of the game is learning. Get over it. 
Um, you'll be wise to keep your distance, at least right now. I'll show you're annoyed. Oppose Opal Ran. Take a look at this uh, faction reputation bar. You'll see that um, there hasn't been a lot of movement, and that's because um, unless you're selecting the same faction over and over, the factions actually um, modify pretty equivalently. They're, it's really hard to get just one faction um, up unless you know who a faction is and who its enemies are. Um, so that's something you have to actually learn if you want to increase the the faction reputation of, like, let's say, Argentus. You have to know that Argentus's enemies are um, De Nova, Fraction, Geminia, um, and Oporan, right? And if you start supporting Oporan, you'll actually lose faction reputation in Argentus slowly. In order to max out reputation, you have to go through uh, 10,000 uh, um, 10, reputation points in both directions. And that would that would be like a proper 20 to 30 hours of gameplay. So um, obviously there hasn't been a lot of movement here because the player hasn't done any quests. They re reward a lot of that reputation, a lot of those reputations points. They haven't joined, you know, Caesar Legion or whatever to to get uh to get that uh reputation up but yeah um that's it for now uh thank you for watching okay thanks bye